What's going on guys? This is Jamil from the RebelJoy.com and I'm giving you another app review on the new Gmail features that were recently released. So this is my home screen. You know, most of you guys know that I got the box jellyfish theme. Super exclusive. You know, and with all the home replacement apps that are being released, I figured, you know what, simplicity is in right now. You know, you dash simplicity with a little bit of exotic sea life and you got an amazing theme going on you know and I want to thank you guys for for downloading the the app that allows you to domesticate sea life because right now it's the biggest most popular selling app in all the market so thank you guys for that so we're gonna start off right you're gonna wanna go to your browser and when your browser loads up you're not gonna wanna do this you're not gonna wanna go to is if, if this is your first time don't put in gmail on the search here alright that's a big new no. and when you put new no, like this or there it goes when you put no google is gonna suggest you to go to no baked cookies all right, you might want to search that though. You don't want to go to menu, go to URL, and here you put gmail.com. Then you click go. It's going to take you to the Gmail application in your browser. And we're gonna show you all the really cool uh, new features that were added, right? Because you come here, it's gonna take you to your Gmail account. You're gonna get to see all your emails and stuff like that. And at first, it's probably gonna look pretty familiar. You're not gonna see what what what's new, but you know it's looking nice. Let it load up. Come on, all my mail. And you know you got all your mail. You know you get, I get to see all my RSS feeds that come in. I want to thank all the YouTube subscribers. You know because I'm getting your your stuff and I'm trying to comment on, you know, reply to all your comments and all my Twitter followers out there and all the little people. Thank you. You know and if you come down, you know, usually before, you would have to. You would have to you know let's say you click here. I want to delete that and delete that delete that you have to go all the way up and press the delete but as you noticed the floaty bar look it's a floaty bar and it's right there it follows you everywhere you go it's floaty bar floating and with that you could come and with you could just click archive or delete or you could click more you could put mark as read mark as unread report as spam all that stuff and let's say you get you get bored of of the floaty bar. Right? You like floaty, float away, and it's gone. You no, know, but you can make it come back up as soon as you click on on an action here. That's pretty cool. All right, floaty, go away. Thank you, floaty. The magical floaty. All right, now this is another feature. Click on calendars. This is something I actually got acquainted with, and and it comes in very handy because it could remind you to do very important stuff like I already put something I had to do today that's very important you know and Google calendars allows me to to remember that you know at 1 p.m. I gotta remember to make a mango smoothie underneath my mango tree so you click on it to for more details and it's gonna be for today Thursday April 9th you know from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. because it takes me a long time to make a mango smoothie because I make it, you know, very detailed. It has to be very precise. And it's going to be underneath my mango tree. And if I click maps, it's going to take me to Google Earth. And I'm going to put street view. And then I could see my mango tree. Created by me. And I put a description here that's going to, you know, a, a small detail that I have to remember. You know, when I'm underneath my mango tree. And it's watch out for angry squirrels because th those things, um, they love to eat my mangoes. And they're angry. And they're squirrels too. So, uh, you know, if you want, you could delete it, you could edit it. If you want to add another 
something very important you need to do you could just click back today and press plus what do you need to do um, fight man eating lions you know because I just do that every morning to work out and uh, where underneath my mango tree of course there's just no other way uh, other place to uh, to fight them and you put description do not die because you know dying is it won't be fun you know if I die I promise I'm gonna be very angry so you know you could click save and bam you got fight, fight man eating lions and you got all, you know all your details here and you know make sure you do not die alright now you can go here to docs documents if you have any documents saved or anything on your gmail account they will appear here under your folders you can trash them you can hide them all that stuff if you click more it's basically going to show you you know all the other gmail uh, features you could go to you get google search here for news photos books all that stuff so you know this is just a a light review of it you guys come and mess around with it you know it's the only way you could really familiarize yourself with with an app or anything like that you know so so go and check it out mess around with it and I'll check you guys later <laughs>